Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before I jump into the topics, I beg you not to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. President of Haiti gets assassinated and Prime Minister Andrew Holness reacts to the news. Shensia breaks down and celebrates her five years journey in dancehall. Dancehall artist Squash gets busted by the internet. Chanel Muir name gets targeted on Facebook. And Spice creates history and celebrates having the most viewed video in dancehall history. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the president of Haiti being assassinated. And also people, his wife is in the hospital. And I'm telling us that that news is traveling all over the world right about now and CNN basically everywhere you can think of it actually a travel you understand so our Prime Minister Andrew Holness actually reacted to the news and you know him sent out him condolences and thing people but we soon get into that I'm going to read an article quick so we get an understanding of what transpired what took place and all of that and then we can talk about it a little bit as more people so anyway the article says Haitian president assassinated at home sparking fears of widespread turmoil Haitian president Jean Javenel Moyes was shot dead by unidentified attackers in his private residence overnight in a barbaric act. The government said on Wednesday, stirring fears of escalating turmoil in the impoverished Caribbean nation. The assassination coincided with a wave of gang violence in Port-au-Prince as armed groups have battled with police and another for control of the streets. In recent months, turning many districts of the capital into no-go zones, the 53-year-old president's wife, Martin was also shot in the attack that took place around 1 a.m. local time and was receiving medical treatment. Interim Prime Minister Claude Joseph said in a statement, a group of unidentified individuals, some of them speaking Spanish, attacked the private residence of the President of the Republic and thus fatally wounded the head of state, he said. Joseph said, the police and the army had the security situation under control, though gunfire could be heard throughout the crime-ridden capital of one million people after the attack. With Haiti politically polarized and facing a growing humanitarian crisis and shortages of food, fears of widespread chaos are spreading. The Dominican Republic said it was closing the border with its shares with Haiti and the highland of Hispaniola. The bloodshed in Haiti is driven by worsening poverty and political unrest. The country of about 11 million people, the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere, has struggled to achieve stability since the fall of the Duvalier dictatorship in 1986 and grappled with a series of coups and foreign interventions. So yes, people, when you don't know, say that's a very sad situation. I'm not telling a lie. And obviously, this was definitely an orchestrated act or an orchestrated plan. You see me? It's not just something that just happened just so where some man just running for him and thing. Or something with them plan. And maybe something that has been planning for a while. So right about now, you know, a lot of persons over there in a fear for certain things will go on in the country. And over there, so it's very, very very poor, you know, people like super poor. So, of course, you know, said that even made the crime rate higher over there. You understand what I say? So, let's get into what Prime Minister Andrew Holness had to say on Instagram this morning after hearing the news. So, he said, This morning, the world awoke to the shocking and tragic news of the assassination of Haiti's president, His Excellency Jovenel Moise. I have met and spoken with President Moise many times, and in all my interactions with him, particularly with the context of character. I found him to be a man committed to seeing Haiti take her place in the world. This heinous act is a stain on Haiti and a sorrowful time for the region. May God be a special covering over his family and over the people of Haiti during this dark time in the nation's history. So yes, people, as I say, it's a very sad time over Haiti right about now. And, you know, obviously this is like shocking news to everybody. Yes, what I say. But let me know what you guys think about this. You know, um, yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I'm just going to move on to the next topic. So yesterday, the Princess of Dancehall, Shensia, celebrated five years since dropping her first single and also break down what she had to go through and also all persons that criticize her back in the days and thing. You understand? Now, basically, Shensia posted up that picture that you're seeing on the screen. Now, seeing people, the picture are going to come into play later when we read the caption. So anyway, she posted up that picture and she said, today was the release 
release of my very first song I officially recorded, Jiggle Jiggle, five years ago. I finished writing this song 5 a.m. in the morning while my baby slept. I love this picture because this was the day I served food to some of the top dancehall artists and businessmen, brought out all their bottles, food, etc. I then heard my song at the party and no one knew it was me except my team and my DJ. I posted this picture five years ago and I got ridiculed for my slippers, seeing as some of my followers saw it many times because I didn't have much. I glued it over and over every time it fell apart. I am proud of myself and I am most grateful to God for carrying me thus far. I am about to start a new journey and I doubt not in what he will continue to do. When I started, it was just a few. Now my Shen Yangs and I are going to take over the world. Hashtag Jiggle Jiggle. Hashtag Five Years Ago. Hashtag Bottle Service Girl. Hashtag Promo Girl. Hashtag Artist. So yes, people, and the reason why I respect Shensia is because obviously she come from humble beginnings. In we always hear Ramish talk about her, and you know talk about certain things where she did have to go through. I remember saying to people she did have a son, so of course you go do what you can for actually make money. You understand so you can take care of your youth. So anyway, it's definitely a good look. And Shensia, are one of the artists who work very hard, and she deserve her place in a dance hall. So I have to put some respect on Shensia name. Is it my people? So let me know what you guys think about that. That message that Shensia wrote on her Instagram page, you know, talking about what she have to go through and thing and thing. You see my people? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Squash 6 Boss basically being exposed for wearing a fake Richard Meal watch. And people, I know me say, say you know, him post up a picture on his Instagram page, Zane. And basically, that's the picture that you're seeing right about now. And of course, you know, so the internet detectives, them get to work and thing. Now, Squash's picture was actually posted on an Instagram page named Fake Watch Buster 2.0. And basically, them tag him and them say, you're wearing a fake Richard Meal RM035 America's Gold Toro and thing and thing. You understand? And basically, them tell you, say, a genuine one costs 570 to 600,000 US dollars. People, a whole heap of money that you know. You are looking at about 85 million Jamaican dollars for one simple watch. You understand what I say, people? So anyway, them put up squash on the page and thing. And they also posted up something showing the real different from the fake you can see it on the screen on the right hand is the fake one and obviously you can see a squash and that because you can see the tattoos and thing now basically <laughs> yo them people in a easy you know anyways so it say wrong shape of the case wrong crow shape the bezel screws are too big i open not looking you know, at people as my talk uh, only can see said highlight it and thing the front used for the rm logo etc is too thin the strap screws are too near to each other wrong shape of our minute markers wrong shape of the skeleton mechanism you understand people so you can see all of what's wrong with you know squash watch and thing and thing but to be honest people if somebody did even come to me and tell me say squash spend 600 toes us dollar on a watch i wouldn't believe it you understand so and i like the man come out and i brag say my wear a real richard meal watch you know but you know of course because he is a celebrity or him is a top dancehall artist then people are gonna say wait boy are we a fake thing and it are gonna make the news because it was posted on a lot of um platforms pink wall post it up um, all the other places post it up, you understand? So at the end of the day, still just because of squash, and you know, maybe him always a floss money and him, you know, the type of thing people. When you see him around Bentley and them type of characters, so people maybe not expect him for a weird knockoff watch. But guess what? Me not spend so much money on no watch. 600,000 US dollars. That's a lot of money. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about it. You know, Squash is being exposed for wearing a fake watch. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice celebrating her song, So Me Like It, almost reaching 100 million views. And according to Spice, because something was she reposts on her Instagram status, that's the most viewed dancehall video in history. You understand, people? So Spice reposted this on her Instagram page. So it said, Almost a hundred million views on YouTube, most viewed dancehall video in history. At Spice, only the queen of dancehall, right there, so keep the views, 
keep viewing. Let's get it to 100 mil. So you can see the 99 million people, and by the time Quinty to reach 100 million views, you understand what I say? Definitely a good look for Spice. Now, I did try to search and see if Vibes Cartel did have any video where reach 100 million. Unfortunately, I never see that. You see my people, but guess what? One to the youth name Insidious. Don't even have a song named Ecstasy. It did over 400 million views. A lot of persons did say I buy him by views. Now, I don't know if I buy him by views or if the song just get big in another country or what. You understand? I never did hear about this youth till the song name geared up. And then I see all the people say, wait. Look on the youth to have, you know, video we gone over 400 million views and we never hear about him yet. Because people, 400 million views. But anyway, we're not going to make it about him. But anyway, people, Spice are the most viewed video in history, dancehall video in history. You see me? She almost reach 100 million views. I saw me like it. You see it? So just congratulate the queen. You don't know so she'll do her thing. You see me, people? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Chanel Muir basically being targeted and when we say targeted somebody actually made a fake page on facebook um and them name it chanel muir zane and basically <laughs> chanel muir posts a message that the fake page sent to somebody making it look like it was her so only can see the message on the screen so the fake chanel muir page say you can do something for me so the person respond and say what's that and then she's the, the fake page say you can get a 30 us flow credit for me and then the person responds and says, This cannot be Chanel Muir and I ask for credit. Joke thing. Um, so the Chanel Muir, the fake Chanel Muir paid, say, Why leave my credit card in a Florida? <laughs> oh boy. And the person sent a voice note or a voice message or whatever. And um, the person responds and say, Oh yeah. And then the fake page, the fake Chanel Muir paid, say, Yeah, you can do it. And the person responds and says, Sorry, I cannot help you. So anyway, um, Chanel Muir posted that on her page, as me say, and the caption, she said, the person behind the fake page, link me, make me send you some credit, and stop do this to me, please. You see me? So she kindly asked the person to stop using her name for, and, and her damage her career and her reputation, you see me? But this is nothing new where we see where people use um, celebrities' name and profile to try to rip off people, try to con them and all them things, you see me? I just, you have to be smart. And the weirdest thing about it, people still get catched by these things in a 2021. You'd have things that people would have probably look for a little ticky, a little blue tick, or I don't know people, even if them not have blue tick, I don't feel like it could have catched me so easily, you see me? Plus, I don't send money to give nobody or no credit or nothing like that, you see it? So, it would have hard to catch me still. But anyway, people, let me know where anything about this. Chanel Mira tell the person if a link or makes you send them the credit. If you don't really need it, link her, she send it to you. Just stop do this to her and make it look like she she a big credit and them thing the Ezeka. A top artist that she don't need for a big credit. Anyway, people, leave in the comments and let me know what you guys think about this. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Bless up on yourself and keep safe. I'm out.